We're back this week with Coach Griffin. The Spartans coming off a, a big 54-24 home win against Eastmore Academy. Coach, take us through the game a little bit. Seems like things are going our way Friday night. Yeah, things went our way. way. Um, you know, we started off a slow a little bit again, but offensively, you know, we came out pretty good. We just had to slow them down. They had a really good um, running back, um, Savon, and uh, he did a really good job on their part. Uh, we had some miscommunication on the defense, so they gave up their first touchdown. But uh, offensively, you know, they couldn't really stop us, and we, and we kept doing it the whole game. It seemed, again, this week, just like the opener in Middletown, you guys kind of got your stride in the second half. What is that about the second half? Is it something you say to the guys during halftime? Or? No, I really didn't, didn't say anything. I mean, we, we scored 34 points in the first half, so, you know, I was really happy with that. I was just not as happy. Uh, with the defense of missing tackles and things of that nature. But, you know, like I said before, you know, it just comes down to us getting the fundamentals down and coming out ready to go. Um, but uh, if we continue to do that, I think we'll be okay. Let's talk a little bit about Adrian Mitchell. You must be happy with his performance on Friday, throwing, running. I mean, what's made a difference with him between, you know, the first week and this week and this season and last season? Well, Adrian's doing a good job, really, in the run game. He's making the right reads on the run game and it's leaving leaving him wide open and he's like I said before you know with his speed training in the summer and, and his strength training you know he's got a lot stronger faster and stronger so you know if he continues to do that you know he's gonna have a heck of a season rushing the ball and then passing um, you know really the play action with the run game is really really helping him out so you know if the defense don't adjust you know we have to keep running the same plays that we've been doing and we're doing a great job going back to the scrimmages. It seems like you're getting a lot of guys involved right now. I mean, you saw Jaleel and Keaton and Boppy all getting the ball quite a bit on Friday. Is that a key to this team, you think? Absolutely. you got to spread the ball. If you see any great offense in, in, in the nation or the state, you know, they're spreading the ball around. You can't just rely on, on one player. You know, if you spread the ball around, it's hard, very, very hard for a defense to guard us. Right. Talk a little bit about the defense. and A couple a couple big plays on Friday night. They're, they're coming along well, right? Yes, the defense is playing really good. You know, like I said, they, they was one of the fastest teams that we played. Eastmore Academy was one of the fastest teams, and they were really, really quick. Um, you know, we'll adjust to that, adjust to the speed. You know, we, I don't think we'll see a, another running back like that in our league. Never know. But uh, that that kid was really, really special. And uh, you know, but we're playing with great effort. Uh, we had some, we had a couple uh, fumble and, and, and an interception. Um, so you know, for the development, I think we're doing a great job. Who's got to lead the defense for you? Do you think? Who's got to lead? I would say um, Daniel Lowe, D. Lowe. Um, he's doing a great job leading it already. You know, um, Cordell McDonald, you know, he, he brings a lot of energy. Didn't play the first week, but played last week. And uh, those two guys are great leaders and, and great students at the same time. Um, so, you know, with those guys leading us, we'll continue to get better. So looking ahead now towards Friday, you guys are on the road again down to Springfield. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what do you know about that team and what do you need to, to get a win out of them this year? Uh, well, we can't turn the ball over um, this year. We, we turned the ball over last year uh, for a touchdown, and that was the difference. Uh, we had some bad calls, you know, on the other side that, that went against us. Uh, so if we overcome those things, I think we can score on them. Uh, they have a really, really strong running game, so we definitely have to stop the run this, this week. You know, if we do that, we'll have success, and we'll give us a chance at the end of the game. they got a great football team, and, and they're one of the best in the state.